I can start the kirtan if you want, or should we wait for others to come? I, I just had to turn up the volume. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I said I could start the kirtan if you want now, or, we sh or should we wait for others to arrive? No, if you want to leave kirtan, that's great. You can start right away, 7 o'clock. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 
Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jai Om Vishnupad Paramahamsa Pari Brajika Charja Ashtotara Sata Sri Srimad A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai Anantakoti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai Namacharya Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Prem Sekaho Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopinath Shamakund Radha Kund Giri Govardhan Ki Jai Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai Navadvip Dham Ki Jai Jagannath Puri Ki Jai Ganga Mai Ki Jai Jamuna Mai Ki Jai Bhakti Devi Ki Jai Tulsi Devi Ki Jai Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai All glories to the assembled devotees all glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bo. Thank you, Tulsi Priya, for the Vrindavan Mangal RT screen share and the Kirtan. And welcome everyone for a Srimad Bhagavatam class with His Holiness Jayadvaita Swami and friends. It is Friday, January 26th, 2024 in New York. And tonight we're picking up with uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam, third canto, chapter 27, starting tonight. I was thinking we were starting with 26 since I only had 25 in my notes. Maharaj has posted verse uh, 27 as our starting verse for the night. Um, We can certainly start with 27. Does someone else perhaps recall where we left off? I, my, my notes say that we discussed chapter 25, but not yet 26. In any case, we shall say, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya All right, so we're going to start with text number 26. Oh. Evang vidita tattvasya prakritir mai manasam yunjato napakuruta atmara masyakarhichit Translation, the influence of material nature cannot harm an enlightened soul, even though he engages in material activities, because he knows the truth of the absolute and his mind is fixed on the supreme personality of Godhead. Prabhupada's purport. Lord Kapila says that mayi manasam, a devotee whose mind is always fixed upon the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is called Atma Rama or Vidita Tattva. Atma Rama means one who rejoices in the self or one who enjoys in the spiritual atmosphere. Atma, in the material sense, means the body or the mind but when referring to one whose mind is fixed on the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord, Admarama means one who is fixed in spiritual activities in relationship with the Supreme Soul. The Supreme Soul is the personality of Godhead, and the individual soul is the living entity. When they engage in reciprocation of service and benediction, the living entity is said to be in the Atma-Rama position. This Atma-Rama position can be attained by one who knows the truth as it is. The truth is that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the enjoyer, and that the living entities are meant 
for his service and enjoyment. One who knows this truth and who tries to engage all resources in the service of the Lord escapes all material reactions and influences of the modes of material nature. An example may be cited in this connection. Just as a materialist engages in constructing a big skyscraper, a devotee engages in constructing a big temple for Vishnu. Superficially, the skyscraper constructor and the temple and temple constructor are on the same level, for both are collecting wood, stone, iron, and other building materials. But the person who constructs a skyscraper is a materialist, and the person who constructs a temple of Vishnu is Atmarama. The materialist tries to satisfy himself in relation to his body by constructing a skyscraper, but the devotee tries to satisfy the super self, the supreme personality of Godhead, by constructing the temple. Although both are engaged in the association of material activities, the devotee is liberated and the materialist is conditioned. This is because the devotee who is constructing the temple has fixed his mind upon the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But the non-devotee who is constructing the skyscraper has his mind fixed in sense gratification. If, while performing any activity, even in material existence, one's mind is fixed upon the lotus feet of the Personality of Godhead, one will not be entangled or conditioned. The worker in devotional service in full Christian consciousness is always independent of the influence of material nature. Evang vidita tattvasya prakritir mai manasam yunjato napakuruta adma ramasya karichit the influence of material nature cannot harm an enlightened soul, even though he engages in material activities, because he knows the truth of the Absolute and his mind is fixed on the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Om Ajnana Timirandhasya Jnanam Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manobhistang Stapitam Yena Putale Svayam Rupa Kata Mahyam Dadati Svapadantikam Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Stam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Radhe Vrindavaneshvari Vishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Panchakalpa Tarubhyas Cha Kripa Sindhubhya Eva Cha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shivasari Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare Initially, when I was reading this verse, I was thinking that Kapila Dev is saying uh, influence of material nature can't harm, uh, he says, an enlightened soul, even though he engages in material activities. And immediately the question arises, well, does, does an enlightened soul actually um, engage in material activities or is he engaged in spiritual activities? And Prabhupada seems to answer that later in the purport. Uh, he's he's saying that um, basically the 
both may be engaged in the material sphere. And so their activities are within the realm of material nature, but one is uh, thinking one way, one is thinking the other way. So one is bound and the other is freed. Um, also, when I was reading this verse, I was wondering, this is third canto, um, chapter 27, and he's speaking about constructing a temple. I don't know on the timeline when Srila Prabhupada was actually composing these purports, but I'm reading in Lilamrita now. In 1972 was a very uh, active year, especially in India, for temple construction. And I, I just I couldn't help wondering if Prabhupada might have been uh, composing this verse and having these sort of things on his mind at the same time. Um, Maharaj, I, would you I like to say this was, I think he did this third canto before. Hmm. Um, because I was working on it. Yeah, it would have been before 1972. Okay, thank you so much, Maharaj. Did you have anything more you'd like to say on this verse or purport so far? Maybe just that in the previous verse, um, Namo Haya Kurute, the material that energy can't bewilder the person who's awakened to Krishna consciousness. And here, na apakuruta, uh, it can't harm him. So he's awake, he can't be bewildered, he can't be harmed, because abhidita tattva and atmarama, he's joyfully situated in Krishna consciousness, and he knows the absolute truth, he knows Krishna. So Prakriti can't. And Prakriti Mayamanasam in his mind is fixed on Krishna. So material nature can't get him. Ma may be a prapadyante mayamita. I was thinking out I'm I can't remember exactly in what context Prabhupada said this, but he said at one point, Maya cannot touch me. And I, I can't help thinking, although I don't know the context context in which he made that statement. I, I'm, of course, thinking of these these verses and, and the verses that you um, cited from the Bhagavad Gita, that one who is surrendered to Krishna overcomes the material nature. And Prabhupada certainly knew that he was surrendered to Krishna, so he could say things like that. And we're introduced in this purport to some of the many ways that the uh, the word atmarama can be uh, translated, and me different meanings teased out. Atma can mean body, it can mean mind, it can mean the self, it can mean the super self. And here he says, uh, atmarama means one who is fixed in spiritual activities and relationship with the supreme soul. And I like this sentence here where he says, when they, meaning the supreme soul and the subordinate soul, uh, engage in reciprocation of service and benediction. I like that especially, that, 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 that really encapsulates the nature of our relationship with Lord. We, we render service and we receive benediction. And that's Atmarama. Also, he says, the living entities are meant for his service and enjoyment. Bhoktaram yajna tapasam suradam and then gyatvamam shantim richchiti. If we can just become peaceful, <laughs> if we can just uh, reconcile ourselves to this fact that we are, by constitution, the servants of Krishna, meant for his enjoyment, then all our all our anxiety just goes right away. This is it's certified to happen, but we have to get to the stage where we we honestly have no problem with that arrangement.
Tulsi Priya says, I always liked this pastime told by Sriman Gurudas. We got into the ambassador car at the Delhi airport. Shama Sundar was there and Prabhupada was sitting in the front and we were riding to Vrindavan. Prabhupada was quiet and I was thinking, he's going to give some spiritual shloka about Vrindavan that will inspire us. Prabhupada was quiet. Finally, I hear Prabhupada clear his throat and he said, cement. We must get cement and build a water tower like that. He pointed out the water tower so we could have sweet water. Thank you for that. Who can know the mind of the pure devotee? Saraswati Mata says, Pranams, I seem to recall that Srila Prabhupada also warned us that we are not sufficiently fearful of Maya. Maharaj, do you have some more background on that statement? Uh, it's a well-known uh, Prabhupada said, I don't know the, the particular circumstances, but it's uh, been uh, long well-known. Trouble with my disciples is that they're not sufficiently afraid of my Yeah. Tulsi Priya says in relation to her um, quote from Gurudas Prabhu, Krishna's contractor. I had a question. Please go ahead. Um, reading the purport, it made me a little curious about, I guess it's a semantic question. When we talk about service, of course, the living entity is meant to serve Krishna and the living entity has the choice to serve Krishna. We have to choose to serve Krishna and, and, and make an effort to serve Krishna. It doesn't happen just automatically, just by our existing. We're not at least actively serving Krishna. But I was thinking that Krishna is maintaining all the living entities. He's maintaining the universes. And I was wondering, we don't say that Krishna is serving us, but is it, is it, you know, we, when you mention reciprocation and benedict, I mean, yeah, service and benediction or reciprocation and benediction, I'm not sure now. Um, but is, is the idea of service something that's active and a choice from a subordinate to the predominator? Or is it wrong is it okay or or wrong to say that krishna is also serving in, a, in a, but obviously he's the predominator i was just wondering if maharaj want, wanted to weigh in on that the idea of what service is robert said that yashoda mai was the best servant of krishna the parent is always thinking about how to serve the child mm. so Often the context is superior and support, but sometimes the when we look at it from another point of view, we see that the subordinate is served by the superior. Mm -hmm. Thank. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Can we move on to text 27? All right. Elsie um, Priya, would you like to read? Okay. Text 27. Yadaiva mat yama, I'm sorry. Yadaiva mat adhyatma rata kalena bahujan mana. Sarvatra jatta vairagya abhrama bhuvanan muni. Translation. When a person thus engages in devotional service and self-realization for many, many years and births, he becomes completely reluctant to enjoy any one of the material planets, even up to the highest planet, which is known as Brahmaloka. He becomes fully developed in consciousness. Report. Anyone engaged in devotional service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead is known as a devotee, but there is a distinction between pure devotees and mixed devotees. A mixed devotee engages in devotional service 
for the spiritual benefit of being eternally engaged in the transcendental abode of the Lord in full bliss and knowledge. In material existence, when a devotee is not completely purified, he expects material benefit from the Lord in the form of relief from material miseries, or he wants material gain, advancement in knowledge of the relationship between the Supreme Personality of Godhead and the living entity, or knowledge as to the real nature of the Supreme Lord. When a person is transcendental to these conditions, he is called a pure devotee. He does not engage himself in the service of the Lord for any material benefit or for understanding of the Supreme Lord. His one interest is that he loves the Supreme Personality of Godhead and he spontaneously engages in satisfying him. The highest example of pure devotional service is that of the gopis in Vrindavan. They are not interested in understanding Krishna, but only in loving him. That platform of love is the pure state of devotional service. Unless one is advanced to this pure state of devotional service, there is a tendency to desire elevation to a higher material position. A mixed devotee may desire to enjoy a comfortable life on another planet with a greater span of life, such as on Brahmaloka. These are material desires, but because a mixed devotee engages in the service of the Lord, ultimately, after many, many lives of material enjoyment, he undoubtedly develops Krishna consciousness, and the symptom of this Krishna consciousness is that he is no longer interested in any sort of materially elevated life. He does not even aspire to become a personality like Lord Brahma. Jai Prabhupada. Um, this reminds me of a little discussion that I saw recently online. Um, some devotees were sort of, I don't, I, I know one of them was, was sincere in his argument and the other was, I don't know if he was taking a devil's advocate position, but they were saying that they didn't see any evidence of prema in, in devotees in ISKCON. And uh, it made me think a lot. I, I don't spend much time in these kind of discussions. Um, and when I do, I regret it, but I, I, I just, it gave me a lot of food for thought because I thought the way that they were expressing it, it was sort of like wanting, um, they wanted the evidence or they wanted to see prema in themselves as a sort of reward for, um, you know, all their hard labor in ISKCON, all of their chanting and everything. And it, it, it's, it came across as a little strange to me that they didn't have it and they wanted it. But I thought, you know, the way Prabhupada's describing a pure devotee is that he just wants to serve Krishna. It's not, I will do service for you and you give me prema, you know, I, I want to feel this bliss and, you know, have the symptoms, you know, the ecstatic symptoms and everything. They just serve Krishna for the sake of serving Krishna because they love him. And I guess it's hard when you're a material, uh, when you're a, a neophyte um, or even Madhyama that you don't necessarily have the taste, but we have the example in the gopis that regardless of what happened, whether Krishna was present before them and reciprocating or whether he left them aside and, you know, went off to Dwarka, they were always, you know, they, they always served um, and they were always thinking favorably of Krishna. And, and to me, ultimately, you know, that, that love, that desire for Krishna, that's, that's, that's the idea. It's not the symptoms or the, or the, or as a reward that, okay, now I, I am showing symptoms. I'm displaying myself as a pure devotee. I'm in bhav, I'm in ecstasy. I'm, you know, showing prema, but just that constant consciousness of wanting to serve Krishna, whether or not we get anything in return. And so, um, of course, Prabhupada says it takes a long time because we have material desires. And so Krishna allows us to fulfill our material desires, even as mixed devotees. But I remember a long time ago, um, Dhanavir Maharaj was talking about the law of diminishing returns. You know, he says, yes, you have one ice cream cone and it's very nice. And you have two ice cream cones and it's very nice. And by the third one, you get a little tired of it. And so it's like that with material desires. Um, you keep getting more and more. And yeah, it, it, sometimes it's like addiction and you, you, you can't get enough. But ultimately, even the addict burns himself out and hits rock bottom. 
So you see so many times devotees having a nice material life, but then something happens. And, and, and if they're sincere, uh, they realize that, yes, my, my good fortune is being taken away to bring me closer to Krishna. So I don't know. I, I just, this, I'm just sharing some thoughts because I, I just thought it was kind of peculiar people complaining about not seeing evidence of prema when, when the idea is to just act as if, you know, act in, in service until you do develop the love of Krishna. And it's, you know, it, it, the, the doing itself, even in the early stages, you know, it's like what Prabhupada says, the green mango, green mango is still a mango, but it needs to ripen. So we do our service, whether we feel prema or not. And, and eventually prema will come by Krishna's grace. Maharaj, do you have any comments to share on that? Two points. One, apart from sort of institutional one horsemanship, which takes various forms and doesn't deserve a lot of comment. Uh, this is sort of extraordinary here that worse because we have Kalena Bahujanmana Sarvatra Jata Vairagi after many births, after many, many years, you, you get to the point of Vairagi of detachment. And Prabhupada brings this up to the point of Prema. You don't find anything about Prema directly in the births. The, the, the highest mentioned is uh, Vairagya. But Prabhupada takes Prema and and any sort of extraordinarily okay sort of extraordinarily we find that he he he's down on, on mere knowledge of God. If you want to know God's actual position uh, and, and his relationship between the, the living entity and, and, and all of it, he wants advancement and knowledge of the relationship between the Lord and the living entity, he hasn't made it yet. He's still in mixed devotional service. So it, it's an extraordinarily high platform that Sri Prabhupada is, is speaking from. That even the, apart from getting free from material miseries, uh, if, if there's anything else than spontaneous love for Krishna, then it's still mixed emotional service. Usually, we're more often we see we're encouraged to try to understand our relate the relationship between the the servant and the person who's offering benedictions. But here, the nothing else is, is nothing else is is on the platform of ultimate attainment than pure love for Krishna. So Srila Prabhupada's and for those who are saying, you know, where's Brahm? There there we're finding it this purport from Srila Bhagavatam. And the, the gopis are given, of course, as the exemplars of that pure devotional service. They weren't interested in understanding Krishna. They just wanted to serve Krishna in spontaneous love for Krishna. And when on that platform of spontaneous love, you have complete vairagya. You're not interested in Brahma Loka. You're not interested in... Because even if you're interested in going back to Godhead for achievement of freedom, that still means you have some tinge of, of material desire. And so you go to Loco or one of these other places where things are relatively good. And so Prabhupada's from a, a highly elevated, elevated platform in its purport.
Thank you, Maharaj. Well, Sarah Satimata had a hand up. Please go ahead. Pranams to all. Um, Maharaj probably did answer this question, but maybe I require some more um, a clarification. This sentence, a mixed devotee engages in devotional service for the spiritual benefit of being eternally engaged in the transcendental abode of the Lord in full bliss and knowledge. I, uh, we know that um, devotees may accept one of the four kinds of liberation, Salokya, Sampiya, I forget the names of the other two, um, but I didn't think that that would be a symptom of a mixed devotee, that if they wanted to continue serving the Lord in one of the spiritual worlds, I didn't think that that would be something that a mixed devotee would want. I thought that would be like, it's, that would be a pure devotee who would accept that kind of liberation. So I'm a little bit confused about that. I understand the distinction that a mixed devotee who wants to still enjoy in the material universe, even if it's the topmost planet, Brahma Loka, that I understand. But to go to want to serve the Lord in the spiritual world, I don't understand how that would be a symptom of someone who's a mixed devotee. And also, maybe I'm thinking too much in relative to material experience, but usually we find that we want to know the likes and dislikes of someone that we want to get close to and feel connected and serve and love. Like you want to know what they like, what they don't like. We want that understanding. So I'm not sure if if when they talk about how the gopis didn't want to understand Krishna, but they, I would have thought that when you want to connect with someone on such a deep level, you would want to know what pleases them, what doesn't, what they like, what's favorable, what's not. So, so these are two of my questions. Hare Krishna. Well, so the first, uh, the, the extraordinary platform from which Srila Prabhupada is speaking, you live with Krishna in the spiritual world and, and render service. And Prabhupada, no, that's your desire. I want to live in the spiritual world. I want to be blissful. I want to have pure knowledge. So Prabhupada is really speaking from a super elevated platform here. That your devotee doesn't care about any of those things. He just wants to serve Krishna. So that's to the first question. To the second question, knowledge here doesn't mean like what kind of... Uh, preparation Krishna might want or, or what what would please him most at a particular time. It means tattva. Uh, who is Krishna? What is my relationship with Krishna? What are the energies of Krishna? All, all sorts of Bhagavad. Maharaj cut out. I think we lost him. No, he's he's there. He's just muted right now. Okay. So is Maharaj saying... I think I said what I wanted to say. Oh, sorry. I was just saying that. Does that mean that when when those who want to go back to Godhead, that's, not, that's a mixed devotee, if they aspire for that? That's what Prabhupada's saying here. Yes. Elsewhere, he says that we should desire to go back to Godhead. But here he's speaking from that super elevated platform that even if you're thinking to go back to Godhead and live with Krishna and serve Krishna, that's, a, that's mixed devotional service. So just see the, the platform from which Prabhupada is, is speaking here. Uh, Maharaj, I have another follow-up question to that. I can't remember the name of the devotee in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, but because he was associating with worldly people, um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, rejected him, although the Vaishnavas were um, very merciful to him. And 
from what I seem to recall, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that it would take me take that devotee millions. I thought it was ten million of births before um, he can become a pure devotee. But that that devotee was still very blissful because um, even if it's ten million, that's still a, a, a surety. That's still a guarantee rather than just a question mark on uh, unlimited births. Um, and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was quite happy with that. That. The, he took it in a positive way that even if it takes 10 million, I think it was 10 million births, still Chaitanya Mahaprabhu um, was very pleased with that response from that devotee. So here it says many, many uh, births, um, that it might take many, many births, but still we, I think um, we have to maybe take that positively um, to Hare Krishna. Ja, dann Mukunda, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, and, and that's a spontaneous desire also. It wasn't for his own enjoyment, but a spontaneous desire to be in association with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu out of love. Die. Davy's child in the chat box says, Hi, Krishna. The gopis did have prema. I think that's why Krishna liked their service better, because their service was with the bhava of prema. I think that's one of the reasons they had the fortune of being born in Vrindavan with Krishna. And then his follow-up is, If we try to understand Krishna, wouldn't we be able to serve Krishna better? Because then we could have more understanding of what kind of services Krishna would like better. That's essentially Sarasati's question again, that if we knew what Krishna liked, that's not the kind of knowledge that's being, being referred to here. It's not that if, if you want to know anything, then you must not be in, in prema, you must not be in pure devotional service. But that's what the, the gopis want. They want to know where is Krishna now? What does he want? What will please him most? That kind of knowledge, not uh, Bhagavad Gyan, not Tattva Gyan, knowledge of, of the personality of Godhead. What is the, the various, uh, what is our relationship and, and so on. Uh, this is, um, it, it's not that, in, in Prema, there's no knowledge. We don't want to know anything. But that's what they want to know. What is how, how is Krishna? In, in what will give Krishna enjoyment right now? How can I most please Krishna? That's not. That's different from sort of philosophical knowledge. It, it's it's spontaneous yeah, concern to to know how can I most please Krishna? How can I most please Krishna? Uh, not because he's God, not because, well, this is consistent with the relationship that I constitutionally have with Krishna. It's just spontaneous uh, desire to please Krishna. So the, the knowledge is still there. We're not impersonalists. No, no knowledge. Knowledge is bad. You can't have knowledge. But it's not philosophical um, knowledge concerning ultimate truths. It's knowledge of things like... Um, it, how much more of, of, of this spice or that spice should I put in this preparation so that Krishna will be most pleased? Um, or there's in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Lila. Uh, I think mm, maybe it was Raghava Pandit or someone. He knew that, that Krishna, uh, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, now he's uh, a little burdened by having eaten a lot, so he'll like some preparation that has ginger in it and something very digestive. So that's that's knowledge, but it's not the kind of knowledge that a, a gani might pursue, or that a a devotee trying to discriminate between one aspect of the truth and another aspect of the truth would want to know. And that's still that's a devotee. A devotee wants to know all these things, and we're reading Srimad Bhagavatam to learn about these things, and Prabhupada's teaching us about these things. But still, he's teaching us here that one has to go beyond all these things. 
Um, just one more thing in, in the text from Davy's Child. Uh, it's not that it, Krishna did favor the gopis, but not because they had prema, because everyone in the spiritual world has prema. Yashoda Mai also has prema. Coward boys also have prema. So it's not that the gopis have prema and no one else in, in Goloka Vrindavan has it. They're all situated in prema. But theirs is of the most elevated type, the most uh, intense and the most uh, full. So they're among those who have prema for Krishna. The gopis are the highest. That's it for me. Jai. Jai Maharaj, thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Uh, Prabhin Krishna Prabhu has an argument. I am not getting prema to Krishna, i.e. no one can give me prema to Krishna, i.e. no one has prema to Krishna. Well, that's a stupid argument. <laughs> if I if I don't have it, no one can have it. Or if I don't have it, if I'm not getting it, that means no one can give it. That's that, I, I don't even know what kind of bad logic to call that. Lucy Priya, you want to go ahead? You got a hand up there? Until she gets on the mic, I'll read what Tulsi Priya has written. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Sadhya Kabunai Shravanadi Shuddha Chite Karaya Udai. And then because we can serve Krishna anywhere. That that was in response to the idea that of of wanting to go back to Godhead because the pure devotee does like you know doesn't care if he's in heaven or hell. Right. But then if, I, I think when Maharaj was mentioning how Prabhupada says we should want to go back, yeah, if you're if you're suffering in material, you know, the material world and material consciousness, then it's a good motivation to get, you know, to, to want to get out of the material world and go back to Godhead. It's a motivation to serve Krishna because you don't have that desire yet. But if you say, oh, your suffering will be over, then yeah, you know, or you'll be get to play, be with Krishna and play with Krishna. But I think, you know, there's different contexts for this, of this, um, you know, what, what, de what a devotee wants, you know, pure devotee doesn't want anything but to serve Krishna, but a, a, a mixed devotee or a real neophyte devotee, they, they need, they need something extra because they don't have, they haven't developed the desire yet. Right. Like you, you mentioned in the chat there for someone mired in material suffering, wanting to go back to God, it is a good motivation to take to devotional service. And Sarasati Mata says, thank you so much, Maharaj. For me to, to even be a mixed devotee seems like a dream. Please, we beg for your mercy so we can dare to dream to be worthy devotee. Davies Child says, isn't our learning of Bhagavad Gita a kind of attempt to have Bhagavad Gyan and an attempt to learn about Krishna? It is. And not only Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad, and Bhagavatam here also. So many of the purports are aimed at giving us Tattva Gyan, Bhagavad Gyan. But here, just Prabhupada is giving us a glimpse of the highest stage. You don't even care about Bhagavad Gyan. You don't, you, you, it, it's anyone who has Bhagavad, interested in Bhagavad Gyan, he dies a mixed devotee. He's a mixed devotee. Of course, it, 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 as Sarshati says, even to be a mixed devotee, that's like, give me that. I would be, you know, now I'm, I'm hardly a devotee. If I could be a, a, a higher grade mixed devotee, I would consider that progress. But Prabhupada here is, is speaking from the, the point that 
um, on the platform of, of pure love for Krishna, there's not even an interest in Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Elsie Priya, is that hand up from before or a new hand? Okay. Guridasa replies, I think, to Rabin Krishna's uh, argument, perhaps the logic of the frog in the well. If I don't know it, no one knows it. And then uh, Davy's child asks, is the number 10 million births refer to the 10 million different bodies we could take birth or the number of births we have taken until now? Just a big number. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was angry at Mukunda and said, you know, he'll, when can he have my association? I'll have 10 million births from now. So then Mukunda uh, is happy. Oh, at least I'll get his association again. But so the 10 million didn't it's just a big number, that's all. No, no specific anchor there. And Sarasati Mata says, thank you, Maharaj. The, the pure devotees don't outwardly show their treasured prema. Uh, so that doesn't mean they don't have prema. Yeah, I, I also, I, I, I'll say that when I was reading this purport and I read that bit about the uh, mixed devotee engages in devotional service for the spiritual benefit of being eternally engaged in the transcendental abode of the Lord in full bliss and knowledge. Hare Krishna. I, I so much appreciate, Maharaj, you saying that Prabhupada here is speaking from an extremely high platform and says other things other ways in other places but here this is this is being uh pointed out this very very high level i was wondering uh, they say a little knowledge is a dangerous thing but in the verse it says adhyatma rata engaged in self-realization and i i couldn't help wondering if that adhyatma rata has anything to do with the the intensity of uh, or the purity of devotional service that Prabhupada is really focusing on in the purport that rata that like like rati you know the that that intense attraction to the 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 self or in this case the supreme self or is that a complete unfair reading of that that term well that's how Prabhupada is reading the whole verse I mean, you look at it, it's Adhyatma Rati, uh, Adhyatma Rata, engaged in devotional service. Uh, Jata Vairagya, he's, he's gotten um, to the point of Vairagya. And Prabhupada just uh, reads the whole verse from the point of view of, of unalloyed Krishna Prema. That's the, the angle he's coming from. Otherwise, adhyatma rata means engaged in uh, adhyatma, uh, adhyatmic, the adhyatmic platform, the, the spiritual platform. There's nothing particularly, uh, no, no, no connection, no obvious indication of prema here. Uh, adhyatma rata just engaged in self-realization, even you could describe the, a, an impersonalist if you wanted to as being adhyatma rata, engaged in the process of spiritual realization. But Prabhupada reads the whole verse this way, and, and that's that's a complaint some scholars have made about Prabhupada's commentary on Bhagavad Gita, that he reads each verse of the Bhagavad Gita in the light of the whole book, or in the light of, of a, a larger canon, so that he, he he doesn't just interpret what's there in the verse. Uh, he he reads Krishna into every verse. He reads 
devotional service in February verse. And when Prabhupada heard that that criticism, Prabhupada said he has understood. He has understood. So that's how Prabhupada's reading the verse here. It's not just face value what the particular words are saying in, in the immediate context, but it's within the whole context of of Srimad Bhagavatam and the whole context of the 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 project of pure devotional service. So he's 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 he reads Adyatmarata. Adyatmarata is fully engaged in pure devotional service to the Lord with no other interest, not even an interest in uh, Tattva Gyan or or Bhagavad Gyan, not even an interest in living in the spiritual world and serving Krishna and, and eternally in, in bliss and knowledge, not even that interest. He's reading the whole thing from the point of view of the the platform of, of spontaneous, pure service like that of the gopis. So, you know, for those who, who, who level that criticism, you know, Prabhupada only gave us, you know, the basics. Oh, get off it, it you know, you just haven't read the book. This is the C the platform that Prabhupada is speaking from. Thank you so much. Hare right, Krishna. Tulsi Priya, you've had a hand up for a while. Please go ahead. Hi, hey, Krishna. So, yeah, I was wondering, um, you know, this idea of we should want to go back to Godhead, we should not want to go back to Godhead. Um, we, uh, we should have knowledge of Krishna. We shouldn't care about knowledge of Krishna. I was thinking... It, it, it also seems context dependent also, because if we are in the mindset, material consciousness, and we're competing with Krishna, we think we want to be the supreme, then we need to have some sort of uh, reality check. It's like, no, you're not the supreme, and this is why. So therefore, the whole Bhagavatam and the whole Bhagavad Gita. But when, it, and by hearing those and, and reading them, we're, we're, we become purified. It's like, I'm thinking like when somebody's, uh, a world-class musician or a world-class athlete, they go through so much training and so many drills and so much study of theory and 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 all of that. But when they become masters, when they become perfect in their in their in their sport or their craft, they they just act spontaneously and they can break rules and 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 they're not thinking about theory and they're not thinking about form because they've done it so much according to the instructions of their teachers and coaches that their bodies just become you know attuned to that way of being so it seems like if we if we practice and we we i mean Prabhupada says that too you uh, what's the uh, example he used you type you type uh, according to the instructions of the typing uh, manual and then you, by you keep practicing by practicing then you don't need the manual anymore so it seems like you know that that spontaneity comes you know when we've purified ourselves sufficiently or not we purify ourselves but we become sufficiently purified and then you don't care you don't you, you don't care about tattva you don't care about jnana you don't care about you know so many different things that are that are technical for lack of a better word does that does that sound right that you know it, it, you need to know these things when you're in the impure state because how will you understand your position And we have reached our ultimate time. Thank you. I, yeah. Hare Krishna. Tulsi Priya, since you led the opening kirtan, would you like to nominate our closing kirtan leader? Gurudas Prabhu. No, thank you. I'm not up to it tonight. Thank you. Madhupati Prabhu. Maybe he's not available. Maybe we tied up.
Mataji, uh, I'm cooking something, so please. Hey, no, Mataji. Rescue us, please. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jack <laughs> Jai Om Vishnupad Paramahamsa Pari Rajaka Charja Ashtotara Sata Shri Srimad A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupad Ki Jai Anantakoti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai Namacharya Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Prem Sekaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktivinda Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopinath, Shama Kund Radha Kund Giri Govardhan Ki Jai, Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai, Navadvip Dham Ki Jai, Ganga Mayi Ki Jai, Jamuna Mayi Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Tulsi Devi Ki Jai, Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, All Glories to the Assembled Devotees, All Glories to the Assembled Devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees. Gore Premanande Hari Hari Bo. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai. His Holiness Jai Advaita Swami Ki Jai. Jai. Tomaveta Bhaktarinda Ki Jai. Jai. Gore Premanande Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you.